How's it going guys? So this video is going to be about how much we've spent over the last pretty much 12 months, 12 months since we have left Perth and been on the road. Which is sad sometimes to look at. <laughs> yeah. Also, we're going to every two weeks we're going to drop a video that is more about tips, uh, things that we think are important for everyone to know on the road and yeah, things like that. So campsites, camping tips, traveling tips, things yeah, like that. Our equipment or anything like that. Yeah, all these helpful stuff. So make sure you hit that subscribe button because it'll be something that will be stuff that you'll really need to know. Yeah, so the biz biggest expense for us and I'm sure most other people doing this is fuel. So we'll give you the exact amount we've spent so far on fuel. So like Josh said, it's been 12 months. We've spent $10,584 on diesel. We haven't tracked how many kilometers we've actually traveled but to give you a bit of an idea of obviously our route we've gone from Perth up to the Kimberley up to Darwin down the middle across to the Great Ocean Road and then a lap around Tassie for a few months and now we're up in Cairns so just to give you a bit of like a guide of how far we have traveled obviously we've deviated off the main tracks and did like other things but yeah over ten and a half grand in diesel yeah and that's in the Mazda BT50 um, it's 2010 so they're known to be relatively fuel efficient. Obviously, um, everyone drives something different. So it's always... And obviously we're heavier, so like yeah. the fuel economy, we've got obviously like a rooftop tent, so um, like your resistance or whatever you call it. <laughs> yeah, I think we initially we also had like a tire on the roof rack. Gas bottle for that fire pit, stuff like that. Yeah, so we had a, a bunch of things at the start as well, which probably made our fuel efficiency worse. Yeah, the most we spent was, I think we filled out for $2.99. That was out near Yalara. Uluru, yeah, Yulara. And the cheapest we've had is probably around. I think it. I think it was the I cheapest. Think that was the cheapest we the had. The cheapest was a dollar sixty-five, but mm. it, we're paying roughly around between one hundred and seventy and one hundred and eighty at the yeah, moment. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> which is probably more in line with what we thought it would be. And that's what I budgeted off. So yeah. I did a quick budget off of other people's expenses when they would put things up on Instagram or on YouTube. And so that's what I budgeted. I think I budgeted a dollar seventy yeah. a litre for when we initially planned it. So yeah, nothing you can do about it. Yeah. So that's one of the ones, it's the biggest one, but it's also the one that you can't help at all. Yeah. We mm. use fuel dockets as much as we can, but that's about it and shop yeah, around. It, probably, it saves a little bit, but not much. Yeah. So another category that we've been tracking is our groceries. So Joss and I are really good at shopping for things on sale and we just eat pretty simple. So we spent $5,986 in the 12 months, I think, which you averaged about a hundred and something dollars a week. Yeah, I think just over a hundred bucks a week. Yeah, yeah, which is pretty in line with what we would spend at home. So yeah, I do all the grocery shopping and cooking and yeah, we just eat super simple, pretty much like meat and veggies, salad rolls, and then I don't have breakfast Joss has just like zero yogurt and fruit so yeah, yeah just keep it nice and simple we've only got one fridge and pantry so yeah just try and stock up when we can when it's cheaper sometimes it's a bit of a struggle when you're in like small country towns you only got yeah. an IGA to shop at so we have a lot of leftovers so we try and yes. make meals last a bit longer so that's how yeah. we try and keep that that price down and sometimes we splurge like we'll get like you know like some salmon or Joss will get some steaks and things like that and then other times we'll just have like veggies and two minute noodles like it just really depends on what we feel like and yeah what we've got to available to us yeah and i like having meat and closet dog food in a can but it's it's good and they're only like three bucks so that's not even that cheap though three dollars for a can of food anyways yeah but if if you think about how good it tastes <laughs> it out what outweighs the the price <laughs> okay that reminds me we should get some no <laughs> mm. just did the shopping and that was not on the list i'll have to go back <laughs> but in our groceries budget obviously includes like toilet paper yeah everything you buy paper from the towels shops, anything you buy from the trees. shops yeah yeah all that stuff. Yeah. So if anyone follows us, they know that Joss loves a coffee. So I'll let him explain the expense of this one. This one, I think we've, I think I kept it pretty low <laughs> for 12 months. Look, I do really love a coffee. Sometimes I need it to get me through the day. So we do have instant in here. We've tried all different types of coffee or ways to make coffee on the road. But when we're in a town, I usually like to uh, splurge and get a coffee. And the other thing that makes it hard is a lot of these like holiday, like that we go to have good little really coffee good shops. Cafes. <laughs> so it's good to stop and have one. They're like markets and things. Anyway, yeah. so that was, I think it's about 1,810. So um, that's not much. I think it is. So we spend about $34 a week on coffee. But saying that, we usually both get a coffee, so 
Yeah, we do, because I feel like if Joss is treating himself, I may as well treat myself. Yeah. And, <laughs> and usually they're good. But... Yeah, they're very good. Mm. So that's a big one. We thought we'd give that one its own category because we spend a fair bit on coffee. Yeah, and we enjoy it. Another category we broke down is takeaway slash eating out. So restaurants, I guess any takeaway. Sushi, food, like sushi. anything, like if you go get a pie from the bakery. bakery. Yeah, all that kind of stuff, we thought we'd give it its own category. So we spent $3,774 on that. Which, I guess, I mean, uh, there's a lot of places around Australia that are worth visiting. Yeah. Like, so, there's a lot of seafood in yeah, Tassie. Yeah, so I was going we to say, to. we probably blew it out a bit more in Tassie because we did splurge and get, like, really nice oysters and yeah. seafood and pub meals and things. Yeah, pub meals is a big one for us, especially when yeah. you go to a country town and you can't be bothered cooking. free camping. Yeah, or free camping behind the pub. to purchase a meal. Stuff like that. And, <laughs> and yeah. catching up with friends and family along yeah, the way. Yeah, yeah. You can't really, you know, say no to that because it's a good experience and yeah. we, we like it so yep, we yep. don't mind spending money no. on that so that's probably another what like we spent yeah nearly four grand there <laughs> so that's probably why our, our groceries is also yeah that's true yeah so yeah alcohol this is your one <laughs> <laughs> so josh splurges on coffee i splurge on alcohol no not really, not really. We, no, we, we we don't so considering the comments that we get from like yeah. on on social media and that from this budget breakdown yeah. is that a lot of people would spend a lot more a on alcohol. A lot more. Some people just did. drink a lot more than Joss and I. Like we could go a couple of weeks without having anything and then at other times we'll buy a carton and go through it quite quickly. So yeah, alcohol on this trip we've spent two thousand seven hundred and seventy dollars. That also includes like just going to the pub and getting a wine or a beer yes. or yes. cocktail or like whatever. Not yep. that we get cocktails, but that also includes that not just alcohol we consume with the car. So yeah, I would say that's pretty moderate. I'd say that's probably a little bit more than what we we would indulge at home obviously yeah yeah but um, that's the thing we're at nice place like a nice weather climate places, yeah nice climate warm. so it's enjoyable to have a beer it's also i guess when you're at campgrounds and that everyone's social. like sitting out having a drink and things like that so but even a social like when you like meet someone they'll be like oh I'll bring over some drinks yeah. and then you just get some so drinks you're and... inclined to have a drink more often yeah. than you would at home i guess so that's where yeah but even still i'm pretty happy that that amount sits yeah, yeah. i I would also assume we would have spent more. So um, that is an interesting stat, I think. But yeah, a yeah. lot of people have commented on they'd spend that in like <laughs> half the amount of time we've yeah. done it. So yeah, yeah. That is this next one hurts because we did not budget for this. I think we budgeted, I budgeted before we left two grand. Oh, that was a bit silly. Why? It was... So I think it was just hopeful. So, so this one's maintenance. It's car maintenance. 7,118. Includes servicing, yes, new tyres. Includes all our servicing, which yeah. I think we've done four services yeah. now. Having an older car, we actually get a few things done at the service that you probably wouldn't do as regularly if you weren't driving as many Ks over a short period of time. So that pushes our services up a bit. New clutch in Darwin, which was definitely not. We thought, like I thought that it might happen at some point. Yeah, um, it happened a lot sooner than we thought. Rear wheel bearings was something we knew would happen. Yes, that was, we knew that was gonna happen. Yeah. That was straight off the give as well. Yeah. So that was good. Master to get cylinder uh, clutch, master cylinder, I don't know. Well, I don't know the, the ins and outs of this stuff and then some new rear shoes brakes in, in cans yes. recently so about seven thousand uh, dollars yeah a lot more than we had hoped for but I could guess yeah it could be worse and if you're realistic about a car that's made in 2010 then it's pretty yeah uh, it's not surprising and we get the comment all the time like <laughs> why wouldn't you just buy a new car before you go Joss and I weren't in that situation where we could just get a brand new car and then be like yep no issues so yeah that's just where we've had to spend money to keep us going yeah. which that's life yeah yeah so I, I guess ways to bring that down for people who are watching is um, if you can do your own servicing there's a lot of people out there who can uh, that obviously cuts down your servicing big time. Yeah. The thing is, nothing's gone wrong that we would be like, yep, we don't know how to fix that. Like, it's all been pretty big things. Yeah, true. We also haven't been stuck anywhere, which has been good. Yes. We haven't had to ring REC <laughs> or we've kind of, um, I guess, mitigated those risks by being ahead of our, yeah. our services and which things Which you've like been that. good at, yeah. Yeah, and we just, as a result, pay a bit more. But that's just part of it. Yeah. yeah so. uh, accommodation, we spent four thousand dollars four thousand and two dollars <laughs> that's probably i don't know i would say it's higher than probably what i would have expect like wanted to pay um just now that we're in the swing of things and we know now like the different 
options when camping. Obviously, you've got your free camps or like your hip camps or national parks and like the different costs involved. I would say we blew that out early in the trip. In WA, we're paying like on average 50 bucks a night, which is like insane now. We would never do. Mm. And then there is, has been some instances where we you can't help it down along the east coast. There's a lot less free camping. Or the national parks are full and yeah, yeah. or more expensive. Whereas so, in Tassie, it was a lot cheaper. Yes, so that's where that helped us get back you, on track. Yeah, you, get, you can get back on track there. So some places you can't help it, some places you can. Yeah. And obviously there's some circumstances where you're gonna have to be in a caravan park or you've got yeah. so many options to free camp. So it all changes and it also depends on everyone's setup. I mean, if you're yeah. traveling in a caravan with kids, you might want to be in caravan parks yeah, a lot more. Yeah, you want the facilities. So, and we, yeah. we tend to come to like caravan parks, off, like not often, but every now and then just to get like the washing done and on track yeah. of like, I don't know, cleaning out the car and just things like that just to get like a nice reset because it is nice having the facilities. But we have set a rule pretty much. We haven't been able to help it lately, but we would never pay more than 30 bucks a night for an unpowered caravan site. That's usually our rule. Obviously, when there's no option, then there's no option. Yeah, some are just crazy. Some are like some are 60, like 70, 70 80. So, a night, which yeah. is wild because it's grass. <laughs> and unpowered. And unpowered. Because we always do unpowered as well. So activities, we spent 2,381. So that includes, we did a helicopter flight in um, Bungles. Bungles, done a reef tour. <laughs> so a couple of things we just forgot what we've done but yeah. things like the kangaroo sanctuary in alice springs fastest to get into uluru cooper pd we did an open tour yeah. we did a wildlife sanctuary tour in tassie, tassie. the port arthur to it's get into right, there yeah. there was kosciuszko kosciuszko we did a triple Parks. j boat tour in yeah. kananara and a lake argo cruise in kananara as well with sundays we did it over to whitehaven beach yep and snorkeling there yeah, there's just well. a bunch of those kind of things yeah we even put in there like when we hired scooters and stuff in melbourne and, yeah. and Darwin and that just to because it was a fun activity. Oh, well, <laughs> just students. loves it. It's so fun. It's so such a rip off. <laughs> but yeah, so we kind of usually our activities aren't super expensive like the ones Joss mentioned. But then sometimes when we're in like a bucket list area like the Bungles or we thought the Kangaroo Sanctuary was 100% worth it. Not that it's expensive, but bucket list, Whit Sunday's bucket list. And then like the Great Barrier Reef up here. So yeah, we really kind of determined scuba diving. Scuba diving, yeah, we kind of determined like what a bucket list experience that just the two of us, two of us can do on this trip. And then there's obviously been some luxury things that we'd be like, oh, we'll come back as like a family or another like flying destination holiday type thing. Yeah. So we kind of yeah. just weigh it up of what we can afford yeah. and what's really important to us now. Yeah. So our last category is kind of just everything that doesn't fit into a category previous to that. So <laughs> things just like haircut, stuff we yeah, buy. clothes, if we need to get new yeah, clothes. Yeah, random shoes. clothes, songs, like, or anything we need to get from the chemist. We buy stickers everywhere we go yeah. that come <laughs> into us. We've probably spent like a lot on stickers. Yeah. Does laundry go in that or is that its own thing? I think we had laundry as its own thing but it was quite minimal so yeah. it was around probably 60 or 70 bucks over the whole 12 months which is pretty small so. The other would also be like parking, um, like if you're yeah, in town parking. you have to like a parking ticket. Yeah, um, which is a shipping, that's quite a few yeah, here and there. Yeah, a few random things. Yeah but anyway it's just anything that doesn't fit in those major categories yeah. goes in there so that was. 4,204 yeah. so that that's probably quite high but it's also one of those ones where you kind of forget what you've put in there because it's just everything else so yeah others just being yeah a bunch of other just random stuff that you need mm, which is that seems quite high it's probably you <laughs> nah it, it's I it'd don't be know. 100% you your bird book <laughs> bird book that's their first one and that's it's been worth it no you stop using it I think I've seen every bird now <laughs> I feel like the, Anyways. the birds are doubling up. So that is our budget. Um, people that are interested can add that up. Another question is... Give you a hint, it's around 42. <laughs> it's around 42. Yeah, so like in line with those type of things when we keep track or if we publish it and things get asked like how do you afford it or do you work along the way and things like that so did you want to make that into a part two video or... Do we yeah, we'll do a part two yeah. video. Yeah, you suckers. <laughs> um, now we'll we'll do part two of um, there'll yeah. be quite a few questions on that because we yeah. we do post these on Instagram and TikTok and they do quite well and then uh, most of the comments are questions. Yeah, always questions of how you afford it, and how much did you save before you did the trip, do you work along the way, even yeah like yeah how why is our food bill so low? Yeah, we people, could go uh, into a bit more detail about that I suppose. Yeah. But yeah, and what, stay and, tuned. And we will add that in. People do ask what um, maintenance. Yeah, but I already explained that. that pretty good. So you got that one out of us. Yeah. <laughs>
So thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe because like I said, uh, every two weeks we're going to do some really, really handy videos for everyone. Uh, yeah, the next things one we probably... wish we knew, maybe. Yeah, things... A bit things... more like that or and more detail. you're thinking about doing it. Yeah. yeah, and probably we'll touch on like our favourite campsites from different states and stuff. Yeah. Oh, there's so many fucking ants. They only like you. Mm. And midges. Alright. Bye-bye. <laughs>